This is New Day Northwest. Now from the Premiera Blue Cross Studio, here's Margaret Larson. Good morning and welcome to New Day Northwest. First up, a workout guaranteed to boost your cardio without running a single step. Please welcome fitness and nutrition expert Ian Weinberg and two Hello. of his students, Heather and AK. Take it away. All right. So what we put together today is a really fun, challenging program that's going to challenge you cardio-wise, but without doing any running. So we're going to jump right in. We're going to start off here with some push-up kicks. So down we go into a push-up from the knees, and then you're coming up with a kick forward. And as we're using more muscles, that's where the challenge from the cardio aspect comes without actually running or jogging or getting on a bike. So the second exercise here, we're gonna step forward into a lunge, again starting from the knees, and then back into a kick. So stepping forward with the leg, kick comes back again, and the quicker we do this, the more of a challenge we'll get on the cardio side. Awesome, look at these great demos coming forward, I love it. Next up, we're gonna hover the knees off the floor and the knee are gonna come up alternating sides, fire hydrant style. And this is gonna challenge our obliques and again, cardio, so our heart's moving, our heart is beating as we're moving our muscles. And then our next one here, we're going into a donkey kick scoop. So the knee drives forward, core's getting activated, bottom of the foot up towards the sky. Again, the quicker we do these and the longer, the more of a challenge we'll get cardio wise. And then the last one, we're gonna pop over. This is the double scissor. And you wanna make sure you've got enough space on this one. As your knees come forward, drive the legs apart. A nice explosive exercise, again, to challenge you cardio-wise without actually running, putting any extra pressure on the knees or any joints that might be challenged. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Ian, it's good to see you again. Yeah, you Thank too. you, volunteers over there. That yeah. wasn't too Get long. That was Get merciful. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we're going to change the fire hydrant to gall wing. I think oh, that, yeah. that'll okay. be easier sure, for sure. women to yeah, kind totally, of relate. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> so how long should we be doing cardio and how often? Yeah, so the, the how long is really dependent on what your actual your fitness level yeah. is, right? For me, it might be a little longer for somebody who's first getting started. I'm pretty sure it's longer for you than me, yeah. but let's yeah. say that I'm kind of a light exerciser, yep. beginner. Yep. How much do I start with? So I want you to challenge yourself for 10 minutes or so. Okay. And if you're feeling really, really out of breath, then obviously you can slow yourself down a little bit, give yourself a chance to recover, but then get right back after it and kind of put and that push. start at 10 minutes. Yeah. Now, I remember forever ago when we were we're doing dance aerobics and jazzercise yeah. and stuff. They they would have you take your yeah. your pulse rate. Sure. And you were supposed to be you know 70, 85 yeah. percent of yeah. max or something like that. Should we be knowing where we are it's, in our it, heart rate? Y Technology has evolved within the fitness field to give us those tools and let us know how far along we are in terms of what our max heart rate is. You have the, you know, the wrists and the straps. And if you have that, that's absolutely great. But you can also kind of use the test of, can I talk while I'm exercising? Ah, okay, and if, good. if you can talk and keep a conversation, you're probably not working hard enough. So it's sort of like running in that regard. Exactly. When yep. I'm not doing that anymore because that's too hard on my knees, so I'm yep. super interested yeah. in this. Yep, totally. And so what, what is the shortest time? Let's say somebody's a senior or they mm -hmm. have a disability of some sort. They're having to do yeah. things in chairs. Yeah. Is there even a minimum amount that can give you some benefits? Yeah, absolutely. Moving it, just a bit? Yeah, anytime you challenge yourself to get yourself to that point where you're a little bit out of breath, your heart is working, right? And it's challenged. It's pumping the oxygen around your body, and that's how we know we're challenging ourselves. And so when you start to huff and puff and you're out of breath a little bit, your heart's getting stronger because you're working it. Right. So even if it's just a couple minutes or a couple of reps so you get challenged, let yourself recover, especially if you're on the, you know, the older side of um, your age demographic. But then you can challenge yourself again after you've recovered and then you progress and you're able to go a little further each That's time. That's a good way because we can judge that ourselves every time. We're not doing something arbitrary. Right. We're, we're testing our own body. Yeah. Now, right now, we're not supposed to be exercising outdoors very true, much because true. of the smoke. It's mm -hmm. been awful just living yeah. in it. Are we okay indoors, do you think? I think it's better than being outdoors, yeah. sure, if you've, if, you've got to, <laughs> if you've got to choose. And then, you know, if there's a strong ventilation is going to be helpful, right, mm -hmm. where the air's moving around and hopefully, um, and there's a lot of kind of air cleanliness products out there too, right? Where you can kind of recycle the air, but we should be checking you know, our air filters too. Totally. I'm told totally go yeah. out there and check yeah. that out. But I mean, it, at some point, like you can't just give up exercise, right? right? You want to, cause you are still moving around, even though, you know, this bad air, we still have to get to work. We still got to go up the right. stairs and carry the groceries. So it's nice to be able to maintain that base. But if you're yeah. compromised in any way, obviously check with your doctor and 100%. be sure, cause it would be better yeah. to skip it than to end For up sure. with a respiratory problem. So what other things can we incorporate into a workout? I'm just so excited 
excited about not running yeah. since I'm not <laughs> yeah. running anymore totally. and I miss it to be honest yeah. with you yeah. and it was such an easy thing for me to sure. do that I have trouble finding things I enjoy as yeah. much can yeah. we incorporate some weights are we back Absolutely. to little ankle weights like Jane Fonda or yeah. what should we do the ankle weights you know if the joint if you have a joint issue then ankle weights might not be the not best so well. solution but you know things where you're moving the ropes around mm -hmm. and again anytime you're going to challenge the body challenging a muscle it's going to require extra oxygen which is going to make your heart work right so that and that's what cardio is your heart challenging you know being challenged to, to shuffle the oxygen around to the muscle so if we can quickly challenge the muscles from these type of exercises and also you know if we're doing slams with the ball or we are doing some weights into complex movements where if you combine a squat and a press or you do some push-ups and then you get up right away and you do some squats anytime we're combining exercises together you're going to get that cardio that challenge. increases yeah. things okay so just one quick question about mm -hmm. equipment yeah because I love it when we can find things where we don't have to go out and buy a kettlebell totally. or weights yeah. or whatever um, like I use a, a distilled water bottle full of water as a, as yeah. a kettlebell and yeah. I also use it for you know for bicep curls and that kind of stuff can you think of some other things you'd sure. suggest or if there's just like one thing that people went out and bought what would it be you know if you get yourself a band you know, it travels well in your suitcase. You can carry it on. TSA is not going to give you a hard time with it. <laughs> You're not going to snap anybody. Yeah. So and you can okay. control the resistance on on how far away you hold it from your body. So you can do your bicep curls and your presses and That's give yourself an idea. extra challenge. Um, another thing that I've done as well um, is use your suitcase. Right? If it's too heavy with all your stuff, take some of your stuff out of it, but then you can use that as right. some resistance to press or to hold. Um, but I love the water, you know, water in a, in a jug idea as well. I it's used great. to do that when I would climb Mount Si. I'd yeah. take my water up yeah. and then I'd finish then drinking drink it, it yeah. so and then it's, I, I have all kinds of light weight to, yeah. to yeah. carry down with yeah. my bottles. So you've expanded now to Shoreline, so you Correct. have a new yep. place. Yep. So Tell now we're at uh, loca 10 locations. Uh, Are you across. really? Yeah. Congratulations. All the way down um, from Normandy Park all the way up now to Shoreline. Uh, so we're really excited to get in the community and it's we've been really well received to start with so it's been really great um, but yeah it's, it's just awesome to get into a new new community and help more people yeah. and, and kind of expand their expand our reach we should put our heads together and figure out a way like to do some sort of core strength plan that we do over the winter because it's yeah. easy enough while you're in your sun in, in your summer clothes and right, whatnot right. you feel like getting outdoors but maybe over this winter we yeah. can that we sounds can like do a great plan that the For audience sure. can participate yeah in. yeah that'd be really fun thank you Ian yeah Appreciate always it. a pleasure yeah still ahead on Wellness Wednesday how to end roller coaster emotion once and for all. We'll be right back.